If actions truly speak louder than words, then Dr. Norman E. Borlaug is a deafening figure in the history of the world. Without Dr. Borlaug, many of us are not here. He saved millions of lives by perfecting a disease-free strain of wheat. It's a breakthrough that is still feeding the hungry in some of the world's most challenging agricultural environments. It's a breakthrough that sparked a green revolution and earned the 1970 Nobel Peace Prize Award. One man, one breakthrough, millions of lives changed forever. People are almost brought to tears when you say Norman Borlaug, and they will give you an example of how he's affected their lives. Here's the man who changed the history of agriculture. Here's the man who, who fed the hunger people. It's a miracle. What he did more than 40 years ago is still relevant today. He drew the blueprint and set the foundation. Now the challenge is upon us to keep his legacy, which is not an easy challenge, but it can be done. Now, like this field of wheat that sprouted from his tireless work, comes a collection of men and women ready to follow his lead and make their own mark on the world. This is the Norman Borlaug Institute for International Agriculture at Texas A&M University. We're bold, courageous, we're action-oriented, and we truly believe in assisting those in the countries we work in. And I think that's kind of what makes us stand out. Their mission is as bold as their namesake. Use agricultural science to feed the world's hungry while supporting equity, economic growth, quality of life, and mutual respect among people everywhere. Operating as a unit of Texas A&M, they are deconstructing the barriers preventing the development of sustainable agricultural systems around the globe. And their staff represents that commitment. From Borlaug's granddaughter, Julie, to Iraqi agriculture expert, Dr. Ma'ad Mohammed, each brings a unique skill set to the Institute. No one benefits more than the people they are helping during this pivotal time. Times are changing very rapidly in agricultural science and technology. There's a lot of misinformation about agricultural technology today. We always want to be true to our word and, and re represent the truth in a situation. Being here at Texas A&M University, we have access to thousands of faculty members, extensionists, who are willing to travel abroad and help people and work in these amazing projects that we have. Those projects are currently running in over 100 countries. In some areas, the task is cut and dry, like providing food for the hungry. But for others, the objectives are as complex as the people they aim to help. These projects may build infrastructure by giving farmers small loans or helping producers better market their products. But at the heart of every project is a commitment to transfer knowledge to future generations of agricultural trailblazers. Our job is to work our way out of a job by working closely with colleagues and building the human capital and infrastructure and the attitudes in those countries that they undertake the job themselves. We believe very strongly in the empowerment of, uh, of other nations. 